What it do ski, it's your boy Fail34, and today I'm back with my reaction video to Community. This one is season one, episode 16. How's it going, everyone? Back in black. Well, I'll show you. I'm back from my trip to Ethiopia and uh I'm uh, ready to get my community on. Let's see where things go. The show's been just a ton of fun so far, and we're going through the series. We're learning more about our characters. We're in the second semester now of our first year at Greendale with everybody. And um, looking forward to see how things unravel. A side note. Because? It's so interesting to see how this was earlier on in the Rooster Brothers' careers, in, in their respective careers, and same with, with all the actors on the show, how they actually popped up in the MCU, and I didn't really realize it as much. Like, uh, I, I, I rewatched Civil War, Endgame. I noticed, you know, uh, you know, uh, Shirley was in was in Endgame with Elevator with with uh, Chris Evans. Abed was also in uh, Winter Soldier. Picking up on the community actors popping up in the Russo Brothers Marvel films, and I uh, just like fun little Easter eggs, you know. I love that. And also, oh, uh, what's it called? The Dean was in uh, what was it? Captain America Civil War after Tony gives a speech. So like, just watching that again, it was just so much fun to see them pop up. And that being said, let's just dive into episode 16 and see what uh, nonsense ensues this time. So. If you enjoyed this one, then definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, with that being said, let's just get into it, baby. Yoink. It's Valentine's Week when the Greendale human being is. Jesus Christ. It, it looks like that Momo thing going. Remember Momo going around the internet? That's what it looks like. Is it a little, little? I don't know. Anyway. This will go. What's the blonde's name? Bitter Butter Beetlejuice? Britta, yeah, she says Valentine's Day ritualizes a connection between affection and candy so girls can learn the ropes of prostitution. Here, I want you to do what makes you happy. Oh, I'm gonna be happy spending the night with an insatiable statistics professor. <laughs> the relationship is going well. Jeff I gave it two more episodes. Seems you were wrong about paying tuition with airline miles. Yeah. Drunk. <sighs> Whatever. So, what's up? <laughs> no! She's so bait. She no, loves no, him now. Zero. She's That's showing safe. him love. Of course, when he's in a relationship, right? With a flower from Vaughn. He's away on a vision quest. <laughs> you got something, Abed? This sounds way more like sarcasm. Inflection is so interesting. Anything in there for Troy? Troy Barnes? Uh, Barnes, comma, Troy? Who cares about getting things? Sorry I'm late. It's okay. <laughs> Actually, you look very early. Oh, God, I'm really late. Yes. Can Jeff I and Britta, can get I you something? You Water, smelling salts, and alibi for Cobain's suicide. It stings. I mean, not the words, the clouds of bourbon vapor forming them. <laughs> a girlfriend from my anarchist days was in town, we drank. And then you said, I was that? Call Jeff. Yeah. Calling you, you're probably whatever. So, what's that? <laughs> the drunk dial. <laughs> so much of what so the kids are calling BCI. That's, uh, the shame, the embarrassment. She's out. Uh, what happened to Britta? Justice called me at 3 a.m. Just to ask, what's up? Is a BCI? Booty call with a capital B. Mm. This can't be good. Make of the group. Well, that's the point. What crap can she give you now that you hold all the cards? Yeah. You've shifted the balance like in a sitcom when one character sees another one naked. In Staples? No, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm Abed. I never watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> I love how meta off it is, man. It's fantastic. I knew did, they buy, did they buy each other stuff? Oh, it's from the girl I'm dating. Yeah, I met her in biology. She was looking for geology and misread the sign. Country's in here. <laughs> yeah, she's she's dumb, but but sweet. Yeah, mine's from Danielle. She's a, a lovely lady in my marketing class. They're not made up. Beep, beep. <laughs> My bullcrap meter's going crazy. No. Oh, it's these presents you've obviously sent to yourselves. This is the most pathetic thing I've ever seen in the class. Why is it going for their souls like that? Jesus. Now he's eating the gristle. I'm so sick of change. Right, so Nessie. Humiliate him the way he humiliated our boys. Somebody is us. Jeff's just living <laughs> in it right now. He's yeah. so happy. When I'm sober, I don't secretly hate Ben Franklin or even think about him. So. You drunk dialing me? I mean, does it sound like a big deal? Oh, Actually, Jeff. Really weird. <laughs> My dating me is going crazy. Okay, cut, 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 cut. Okay, Leo, I'm not feeling it. I really need to believe that you're holding an imaginary duty meter. <laughs> wow. The equipment's getting better too. And he thinks it's Christian Bale. Look, uh, you were right. Britta is totally weird around me. But when Chandler saw Rachel naked on Friends, to even the mm -hmm. score, Rachel needed to see Chandler's penis. 
All right. Jeff, please don't waste my time. I lose my chain to Cub Scouts in 20 minutes. <laughs> so, so what? I <laughs> do the score. I have to drunk dial her. Isn't that absurdly simplistic? I can drive. I can totally drive right now. Give me my keys. That's enough. I, I can. Think we're no, good. hold on. I was like, All right, shot. I don't care. <laughs> There's one thing I could say about Community, and I'll I'll, I'll I'll say this. I cannot. I don't like a lot of shows. I can sometimes I can predict what's gonna go out, go down. Community, I don't have a freaking clue. They'll literally just go down the rabbit hole that I didn't even expect. Like, even even the beginning premise, I'm like, oh, okay, drunk phone call. Would not have thought Abed would be to go and doing all this. This is fun. Yeah. Come on. You're a big guy. Hey, Britta. Your call got me thinking, and thinking got me drinking. Stop. That was terrible. What? Rhyme, come on. Time to pass that act up and find the actor that's playing you. Oh, they are going to love you in California. They can be put off by her vacuous mannequin face and her Jodie Foster severity. She kind of looks like Anne Hathaway a little uh, bit. Well, you know, she's no barrel of monkeys. She she wants everyone to be honest, but she lies to herself. She's, it was only attraction at first because she bothered to play hard to get. Hmm. I'm happy with Michelle. Yes, yeah, Slater is low maintenance. Hmm. The lowest. Britta, irritating, impossible, unpredictable, and she didn't like you, so it felt useless to like her. Watch it. You need pain, Watch you what? Need a phony drunk dial soaked in phony pity that insults Britta even more? Or... A believable performance informed by feeling. Yes. I can't feel things with you studying me like a beige praying mantis. You're right. I bet it's gonna drink. He's going for it. He's going in. Drink. Scorsese drank with De Niro. Nazdrovia. Nazdrovia. Drunk Abed. This. Oh, we're starting the montage early. <laughs> Man, this feels like this, like this feels like one of the kind of shows where it must have been so much fun to work on. Oh, they're shooting! <laughs> you know what? I think, actually, if you were to tell them... Right, class, if Abed oh, called and said that they're doing all this just to make it feel better, that might be more sincere. Oh, yeah. Wow, it's from Princeton. They want to make me associate professor of... Pathetic attempt to punish me for humiliating you. But we didn't do it. Save it! You'll do it or you're filming the class. You can't do that. Have you met me? <laughs> I mean it. Tonight, you are my bitches. Sometimes they really do be like that. Abed! Abed! The last thing I remember is you were dancing like that girl in that movie. I don't even remember. Kids in detention? Breakfast oh. Club. Dear God, what have you done to me? Wait. <laughs> Did I call Britta? Two outgoing calls. One to Britta, no one to your show. girlfriend. Oh Can my god. Her? Neither do I. No, I it's gonna be. the name of the girl in the breakfast club. Mary, Margaret, he broke me. <laughs> you broke me. Women's sizes run slimmer. I'm sure you're a 12 everywhere that it counts. <laughs> well, I'll take every little victory I can get right now. Thanks. <laughs> they probably feel like shit. <laughs> All right, I feel like that person in the TV show. No. <laughs> no kiss agreement. Is that, are those still a thing? I don't think so. On you. Yeah, I know. I figured I'd just let it go to voicemail in case you had the wrong number again. Elaborate? Oh, you don't remember calling me at four in the morning and hanging up when you realized I wasn't Britta? I guess not. Michelle. Michelle. Um, That's awful. I was trying to call Britain to order you toffees. So that's actually pretty smooth. I'm gonna have to use that shit. Two nights ago, Britta drunk dialed me, and it embarrassed her and made her sad, believably drunk, and leave her an equally embarrassing message. It sure seems that you and Britta are friends, the way my mom's pool cleaner was my uncle. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there he is. Remember what we said. Never let him see us cry. Okay. One, two. Lord. Wait, keep your coats on. We are the ones that sent the letter to Chang. You work. You work at Princeton. We were mad at him for humiliating <laughs> you. We're gonna tell Chang the truth. And we'll pay the price. This whole thing started because you and I were ashamed that we didn't have ladies that cared about us. And the good news you is really we do. obviously do. Oh. <laughs> the bad sweet. news is that it makes it our manly duty to protect them tonight. Oh, Santa can't let you do that. It's... No, he's right. Step aside. Oh! 
Let's handle this like men. We're doing two montages this episode? Just look away. Oh shoot! Uh, Slater. <laughs> Very funny. Called me last night and shocked. This is she's got to be joking. This is a joke. Are you okay? I'm sorry. Uh, I don't. I don't remember asking you to the dance. I don't remember anything. So again, I am sorry. I am so so sorry. And you are messing with me right now, aren't you? I know you didn't remember mm -hmm. anything from that phone call last night. You got dressed up. Just to see me sweat? Yeah. What's left to say? Uh, yeah, that really I don't know. It's probably a sweet message to Michelle. Look, I am really in Michelle. And I don't want to screw it up. She's a perfect girlfriend. In his defense, Abed's surreal face is really funny. Thanks, Britta. That was the first 20 seconds of a 40 minute message. Very informative. She's for the Happy team. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> perfect boyfriend that was actually so sweet wow i'm actually surprised how sweet an episode that was surprised how sweet an episode that was <laughs> troy's face <laughs> these ridiculous outfits Oof. i know yeah what the hell is this we're going to get frozen yogurt ah, i'm not gay man they close in seven minutes i could have driven you you said he hated froyo just try it. that was great <laughs> And that was Community Season 1, Episode 16. That was my reaction video. I, I gotta say, I think this was probably one of my... In terms of stories, uh, this might have been one of my favorite because of just how sincere and honest it was and the pairings once again. Uh, seeing Jeff and, and Abed uh, team up together, throwing him at his, at, his, at his peak of movie references and just being a film director, time back that and developing that more and alluding to him at being more famous, I guess, and his career, again, his film career getting farther. Loved those elements. Um, and then Jeff just sort of, uh, you know, being sincere with himself and uh, with, with with his relationship with Michelle and his feelings with Britta that are obviously his you know plutonic feelings with Britta, um, I just really enjoy I really enjoyed that and I thought I thought they really hit a score uh, this episode between the whole idea of the phone calls and then you know mi uh, mixing them. I thought it made for a lot of fun and uh, just I thought they got the emotion uh, down pat here. Jeff getting the authentic drunk phone call. I thought that made a lot of fun. The montage uh, and. Um, just Britta too. I think the most important thing is they got the emotional aspect down really well, which could have got lost in it, but I thought it was well paced and put together in my opinion. Also, I don't know if this is just me, maybe I haven't seen Community in a little while. I found this, ex this episode to be directed uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit out of the normal from the previous episodes, if that was just me. Uh, but um, yeah, overall, I think this worked really well. Uh, also, the, the, the other two pairings episode of of, uh, of between uh, the story between the sub story, the sub story, Shirley and Annie uh, trying to help help Troy and Pierce because they obviously felt bad not having any sort of love messages on Valentine's Day. That was also a sweet thing too. And you know, when Troy said that line of, you know, I thought we didn't have any, you know, you know, women in our lives, or whatever, who care about us. They do, and I thought that I'm really happy that they mentioned that because, you know, where it's Valentine's Day now. They've been a unit for a couple of months now, and uh, aside from that shallow surface level sort of flirting and, and love interest between you know Jeff and stuff like that, and you know Annie and, and Troy, um, they're really diving into the the, the 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 friendship aspect to all of her characters really well, and I'm just I'm just it's a lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot of fun to see them uh, just progress and the storyline is getting even crazier and then <laughs> seeing Pierce, Pierce and Troy, you know, committing to the, to, to the dance so they don't fail. Again, really uh, entertaining um, thread that they, that they went through. And that's what I love about this show too, is when they say something, they commit. And I can't say a lot of shows do that all the time, but it, when, once you, once you set something up and you deliver it, you know, when you, when you go for the, when you go for the one, two and you hit the three, I love it. So with that being said, guys, that was Community Episode 16. What do you think about this one? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, if you enjoyed this one, then definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And again, y'all, in case you're interested in getting the full unedited raw reaction and more and joining me along this journey to watch community, then definitely check out patreon.com slash 34 in the description down below. With that being said, I will see you all next time. Peace.